Today we're going to talk about heart and lung sounds. We have designed four types of site-specific heart and lung sounds for our adult mannequins, available four different ways. What are they? First, you can get site-specific heart and lung sounds on a CD-ROM, where the distal end of the stethoscope can be placed using the computer on a virtual image of the patient and when you do that you'll be able to hear the sound that is appropriate for that position. Now we've had this feature on our advanced interactive mannequins for a number of years now and what we've done is we've transported that technology over to these types of mannequins and we'll go through those. You can also buy the heart and lung sound as a torso as you see it here. The torso has nine different positions on the front, four different positions on the back where when the distal end of the stethoscope is placed appropriately the student will hear the sound in the stethoscope. Now the stethoscope has an electronic module placed here, an on-off switch this module is powered by a 9 volt battery and on the back there's a selection of the sounds and a switch that allows you to hear five different sound menus at each of 13 different locations on the mannequin giving you a total of 65 sounds. Now in addition you've probably always wanted to know is the student hearing in the stethoscope what I think they're supposed to be hearing? And the answer is yes, you can do that. Because our heart and lung sound device has a convenient plug-in here so that everyone in the classroom can hear what the student is hearing or not hearing. Now, let's see how this particular one works. We, we have selected a menu of 13 different sounds and we have turned it on and we'll place the disc, distal end of the stethoscope near the trachea. Notice that you can hear the tracheal sounds uh, through the speaker and of course you'll be able to hear them through the stethoscope as well. Notice that when I remove the distal end of the stethoscope, the sound naturally goes away. Sound, no sound. Sound, now let's move the stethoscope around a little bit. As we go aw away from the point where that sound is supposed to be heard, that sound disappears just like on the real patient. Similarly, all of the heart sounds are possible. Right now, I'm doing a LLSV. I can move that around to other points as well and get a similar sound. Here, we're listening to a sound at the apex, a rather normal apex sound. Again, you have some ability to move the stethoscope around. When you're at the right point, you hear the sound. Now, how do you determine where the right point is? The answer is, beneath the skin, you have a ribcage. You, you can feel, auscultate, you can feel the point, you can palpate, First, get the location relative to the sternum, get the location relative to the intercostal spaces, and then place the stethoscope. Your system arrives with these blue dots positioned simply to get used to the mannequin. We have base left and right, LLSB, apex, and then you have left and right lung high, left and right lung low, of course trachea, and on the back you have left and right lung high, left and right lung low. Now, this torso can 
be provided to you with an intubatable airway. That gives you the advantage of having the sounds and in the airway. Similarly, this technology, which involves tiny little sensors inside the mannequin, can be just as easily supplied to you in any of our mannequins. Our Susie, our Chloe, our emergency care mannequins. You specify it, they can be installed. Now, let's say, for example, you have a mannequin, a Gomard mannequin that you've had for 10 years or 20 years. You want to update that with these heart and lung sounds. No problem. We provide an overlay and the stethoscope so that you can update your mannequin with these heart and lung sounds. Now, we also have this available in pediatric. Now, we'll move to the pediatric section. Now, let's look at our pediatric heart and lung sounds. Again, we have these for you in four different configurations. One is a CD-ROM that you can use on, on your Win98 or ME computer. What we've shown here, rather than a torso, which you can also get, we've shown you an example of how an update kit can be installed on one of our five-year-old mannequins. Let's assume that you purchased some years ago one of our five-year-old airway and trauma mannequins, having intubatable airway, CPR, and I.O. And let's say that you've seen this demo and you'd like to have an update kit. No problem. The, the overlay of the skin, front and back, is attached conveniently to the five-year-old with these Velcro strips. Again, you have the same points on the adult. You have the trachea, the uh, base left and right, the upper lungs, the LLSB, the apex, the uh, base left and right lower, and the same on the back side. The stethoscope looks the same, but is fitted with pediatric heart and lung sounds. The functionality is the same, 9 volt power supply, menu of sounds on the back. And of course, we have the attachment so that the classroom can hear exactly what your student is hearing through their stethoscope. So let's turn this on and we have set the stethoscope so that we'll hear rather normal sounds. Placing it on the trachea, you'll be able to hear normal tracheal sounds for a five-year-old. Again, moving it away, bringing it closer, looking at the field of acquisition, you can see there's a reasonable acquisition distance, not too much, not too little. Now we'll move to the apex. And determine an appropriate apex sound. Similarly, you can move to other points and observe both normal and very abnormal heart sounds, as well as normal and very abnormal lung sounds. You have a menu of about 65 heart and lung sounds on the back here, and you have the ability in this update kit to just add it to the five-year-old that you have. Similarly, of course, you can buy the five-year-old heart and lung sound by itself. It can have an intubatable airway if that's what you'd like, and you can have it added to any mannequin that you order here at GoMart. So, to summarize, our site-specific heart and lung sounds attempt to show the student where that sound is specifically heard. How do they find it? They have to feel through the skin. They have to feel the ribs. They have to know the proper position. At the proper position, they will hear the proper sound. These blue dots that you see are simply for demonstration. They can easily be removed. Then the student has to locate the proper point by finding the sternum, getting the proper intercostal space, or using other anatomical landmarks that are appropriate, and they are available here on the mannequin. So, this is truly a 
wireless approach. It's site specific and we hope that it will help the student be able to properly feel for the point, place the stethoscope appropriately, and hear the appropriate sound at that specific site. Thanks for your attention. We hope you've enjoyed the show.